And welcome to the ECC Sports Network for today's men's lacrosse season finale for the St. Thomas Aquinas Spartans. Taking on the D.C. Firebirds. The Firebirds enter this game 0-4 in the conference, 1-7 overall. Stack, meanwhile, 1-4 in the ECC, 2-11 overall. The starters for D.C. will be Xander Torres, Jacob Saunders, Jeffrey Vo, Kendall Jones, Julian Shem, Joseph Cotty, Carson Gregory, and Dylan Donaldson, along with Najee Wilson in gold, number 23, Nolan Ross, and Gerald Fittrell. We are just about ready for the opening draw. And we're off. Spartan looks like they came away with it. Ground ball scooped up. And it is Spartan ball to start. Reno Molina coming away with it. These two teams have not played since back in 2019. A long, long time. Last time they played was March 23rd of that year. Seems like an eternity ago with all that's happening in the world. That game, an 11-9 victory for D.C. So Be Beto's in the game now. Leaves it off for Molina. Molina spins around fast. Takes the shot. Save. That's Najee Wilson in goal for DC. He makes the save. And now it's the Firebirds on the attack. Seeing a lot of players coming in and out of this one early. Torres comes around. Takes the shot. Save by number four. Craig Peavy, the junior goalkeeper from Deer Park, New York. So here come the Spartans now, their turn. Both teams with a shot on goal to start this one and a save by each goalie. Here's Peter Johnson now, trying to get into the offensive territory. He pulls it back, waits for someone. That's Steven Stolarski to enter and now he gets the pass. He surveys the field, gives it right back to Johnson. Johnson being fronted by Saunders. Gets by him, makes the pass. Played it out behind the net. Jack Margitson's cross. He is the leading goal scorer on the team on the season with 17. Also has five assists. Good defense here by the Firebirds to keep him a double team, a shot, another save by Wilson. Two saves for Najee Wilson here to start this one. Turnover, Spartans have it. Can they get a shot off here? Good defense here by Jones, forcing him out. Trying to find room to work with. And they play it back out. Here's Johnson. Johnson behind the net. Being fronted by Shem. This is going to be a shot wide by Edward Kelly. So the foul will be on Kendall Jones for a slash. And the Spartans are going to be a man up with 12.09 on the clock. Still no goals. Two saves by Wilson. So it's going to be a one-minute penalty. And there's the whistle. So here's the Spartans. Margitson has it. Back to Molina. Molina leaves it off for Stolarski. And now it's in Johnson's cross. Back to Johnson. Spartans hurling it around, looking for an opportunity here. Molina comes into the center. Margitson has it. Now it's Molina. He'll take the shot. Another save by Wilson. 
Wilson with a good start in net for the Firebirds. And now the Firebirds come out. They are playing a man down, but look at him streak down. And he, I believe that was an errant pass, dropped, and the turnover makes it Spartan ball. Good defense by St. Thomas. Looking to close out their season with a victory at home. Here's Molina. Great pass. Shot, and there's the first goal of the afternoon. Number 66, Braden Strauss with his 17th of the season. And give a lot of credit to Farley for the pass. The pass is what made that goal happen. He found the player wide open. So Farley made that happen, and Struss stuck it in the back of the net. one nothing Spartans here with 11-13 to play. So they make the man-up opportunity count with just four seconds remaining on the penalty. So the Firebirds come away with this one. It's number 33, Lofton. This is Arabi looking for an opportunity. So let's see if the Firebirds, they've got their full unit back out there. Penalty is over. 10.49 on the clock. one nothing St. Thomas. High energy opening quarter here. This is Daniel Orebi, the junior from Silver Spring, Maryland. To Shem. Spartan goal was scored by number 66, Braden Struss. The assist to number 28, Jonathan Farley. Here's Eric Boko. Boko, one of the only players on the field today who played in the last time these two teams squared off back in 2019, a long time ago, and that shot is wide. 10-18 on the clock. And there's the whistle. The Firebirds will take it. And that shot was deflected by number nine, Arebi. Good defense by the Spartans. Who's going to scoop up the ground ball? It's going to be Xander Torres. And we're going to have a whistle here. So the refs are going to have a little summit here. So they're going to reset the shot clock to 17. Coach Colbert of DC does Asking the ref if they had possession, if his man had possession there. The ref says no, so that's why the clock does not reset. So here we go, Shem. Shot wide. Eight on the shot clock, and we're gonna get a whistle. Shot clock will reset. Jeffrey Vo now has it. Outside to Arebi. Arebi to Lofton. Give and go. Back at him. Arebi dancing, trying to find space. Instead, he's pushed back, so he'll pass it to Torres. Torres takes a difficult shot. I believe that was a shot. It could have been a pass to Shem. Regardless, Firebird ball. This is Shem. He's got nine goals on the season. Looking for number 10. No, he'll pass it out to Boko. Boko back to Arabi. Can't handle it. Ball's on the ground. Who's going to come away with it? It's going to be... Ref says there's a push there on the Spartans, number 43, Schaefer. So the Firebirds will keep it. Nine, nine minutes left on the clock here in the first quarter. one nothing to score. Spartans lead on a beautiful goal from Struss, who scored it on the pass from Farley. Boko going around, and he'll go behind the net. Looking for space, instead he'll pass it back to Cotty. Drops it, picks it back up. Shot is saved, and now it's up in the air. Ref says Spartan ball, so it's gonna be the Spartans' turn now. We're gonna get a shift here. That pass was deflected by Torres. Molina trying to get to it. Can he? No. 
It's going to be scooped up by the Firebird defense, number 23, all the way behind to Ross. And now this is Vo, Jeffrey Vo, senior from Silver Springs, Maryland. Four goals, seven assists on the season. Vo, still dancing, looking for space. It's going to be a shot deflected, picked up by Shem. Finds Torres. He's dangerous. Great pass. Shot. Wide. That was a really nice pass by Torres to Cotty, but Cotty couldn't put it in. He tried the underhand behind his back. So here's Vo again. Trying to use his speed. Outlets it to Shem. Shem. Shot in the ground and bounces up behind the net. The Spartan goalkeeper, Craig Peavy, a junior from Uniondale, New York, 5'11". Vo being fronted by Johnson. He'll send it to Saunders. Saunders, back to Vo. Shot, goal! Jeffrey Vo with his fifth goal of the season, and he ties this one up at one apiece. So the Firebirds managed to even this one up. 7-17 on the clock. Very high-spirited offensive game so far. UDC goal scored by number 14, Joseph Cote. The assist to number one, Jacob Saunders. So we're going to get the draw. 1-1 one, one to score. Up in the air, taken by Torres. Guarded by Molina. Now he's got three men on him. He sends it up forward. That was smart. Two guys were th right there. And now the Firebirds have the attack. Whistle. Offside on the Firebirds. We're just under seven to go in the first. Here's Stolarski. Stolarski to Beddoes. Margotson. So Steven Stolarski gets by one defender, takes a shot wide. Six twenty on the clock. Here's Struss. Struss, the goal scorer for the Spartans in this opening quarter. Passes it. It's deflected. Still gets into the cross of Beddoes. He pulls it out and passes it to Stolarski. Now it's Struss. That is a goal. Yep. Braden Struss made that one happen all by his lonesome, and he's got two on the day. And he reclaims the lead for the Spartans. So let's see if the Firebirds can respond a second time. Just under six Spartan to play. Goal scored by number 66, Braden Struss. With, those, with Braden Struss's two goals today, he is now the team leader on the season with 18. Margotson just behind him with 17. Here's the draw taken by the Firebirds. That is won by... Lofton Jr. Here's Vo. Firebirds resetting their offense here. It's Torres. Torres finds Cote. Behind the net, pulls back, reverses. Good move. But good defense there by number three, Bartolome. And that's going to be a score. Another one for Cote. So, just like that, the game is tied up again, two to two. And we only have 521 left on the, shot on the game clock for the first quarter.
UDC goal scored by number 14, Joseph Cote. So Struss and Cote each with a pair of goals. These two teams very evenly matched here in the opening quarter. We've played just about 10. There's the draw, and it's gonna go to, that is gonna be on, t on uh, Longobardo. So the Firebirds will have it. And they'll look to take the lead for the first time today. This is Saunders. Gets behind the net and he, Outlets that to Boko. Here's Jeffrey Vo now. Back to Boko. Now it's Cote. Cote being fronted by Bartolome. Pass. Drop on the ground. Who's going to scoop it up? It's going to be the Spartans. Bo Maroney comes out with it, and he's streaking upfield. Maroney to Strives. Struss has two goals so far today. Maybe he'll make it three here. Here's Farley. Johnson pulls out and he surveys the field, takes some instructions from his coaches, and now he gives it to Molina. Molina, good move, gets by one. Looking for someone to pass it to. Instead, he'll take a shot and score it himself. Reno Molina with the, t with the score, and that gives the Spartans the lead for the third time today. His 13th on the season. Spartan goal scored by number 20, Reno Molina. Molina is a sophomore from Port Jefferson Station, New York. This game is interesting in that one team has got a ton of experience on the field. The other is playing with mainly freshmen and sophomores. The Firebirds, nine of their ten starters underclassmen, whereas seven of the ten starters for stack upperclassmen. Uh, but we're seeing tons of players shift in and out of this one. So here's the draw. 3-2, 4.07 on the clock. And it's going to be Firebird ball. That was on Longobardo again. So the Firebirds, they've tied it up twice, looking to tie it up for a third time. This is Cote, he's got both goals. Pulls it out. Good defense there by Stakler. Pushed him back. Torres will take it, bounces, and that's gonna be Firebird ball. 340 to play, 3-2 to score, Spartans lead. Kendall Jones leaves it for Shem. Here's Shem being fronted. And so he'll go back to, to Jeffrey Vo, and Vo will pull it out back to Jones. Jones being guarded by Molina, trying to spin around him, can't do it. Molino, good defense, making life miserable for Vo, and he picks up the ground ball. Wonderful defense by Reno Molina, and now he's streaking down the field. Finds Oh, the Spartans needed one more pass there. Couldn't quite get to it, but they're on the attack. Now they're being pushed back. This is Beddoes. Sends it to Margitson. And now it's Peter Johnson. 2.45 left in the first quarter. 3-2 the score. Peter Johnson. Back to Molina. And here's Struss. Struss surveying the field. Looking to make a move. He's being fronted by Kendall Jones. Instead, he'll pull it out to Molina. Molina sends it to Johnson. Margitson takes his time. He'll go behind the net while being fronted by Shem. Shem trying to push him back. Margitson with the pass. Beddoes. That is going to be a save. By, Joe, by Najee Wilson. One fifty-eight on the clock. Firebirds got it. This is Vo. Spins back. Pulls back.
Good spin, but that shot is going to be in the ground and wide. It'll remain here. That was Jackson who took the shot. Jackson Jr., Emmanuel Jackson Jr., a freshman from Princeton, New Jersey. So one and a half minutes left to play in the first. Firebirds looking to tie this one for the third time. Spartans looking to stop that from happening. Here's Jackson Jr. trying to get around Johnson. Passes it. Shot wide by Boko. 109 on the clock. A high-spirited offensive game so far in this first quarter. Vo to Shem. Last minute of play in the first quarter. Boko will take that, and he is going to score. Eric Boko ties it with less, just a hair's breadth under a minute left in the first quarter. Boko with his 14th of the season. So the Spartans have taken the lead on three occasions, and on three occasions, UDC has managed to tie it up back up. And let's see if the Spartans can make something happen with just under a UDC minute to go. Goal scored by number 32, Eric Boko. The assist, number 10, Julian Shem. Shem gets his second assist of the season. And here's the draw. It's going to be taken by... We'll still scrum for it. Who's going to come away with it? Scoop back. It's going to be... UDC who comes away with it, I think, maybe not, actually. Still in the air, and it is going to be UDC who comes away with it. Number 22, Fatrell. Here come the Firebirds. Th less than 30 to play in the first quarter. Can they take the lead for the first time today? They're taking their time. Not a lot of... Not a lot of seconds left on the clock, and they are ticking. 17 to go. Here's Saunders. Kate. He's got the two, two of the three goals. Is he going to try for the third? He stopped. Good defense there by the Spartans. They get come away with it, and we are probably going to end the first quarter all knotted up at three apiece. A good first quarter of action. We'll be back here on the ECC Sports Network in just a moment. And welcome back to the ECC Sports Network. Here from Spartan Field, a good first quarter of action. St. Thomas Aquinas hosting UDC. Both teams, three goals in the first quarter. Two for Joseph Cote of the of UDC and two for Braden Struss of the Spartans. Another Firebird goal, one to Eric Boko. 
while Reno Molina scored the third for the Spartans. So, first draw of the second quarter, 15 on the clock. It's going to be Carnell Lofton Jr. for the Firebirds. Against Molina. Ball is going to be scooped up by Saunders. Of the, nope, maybe not. I spoke too soon. Still a battle for the ball. And it is going to be Saunders who somehow comes away with it. And here he goes. Pass midfield. This is Jeffrey Vo. To Arabi. Now it's Torres. Torres pulling it wide. Instead, he'll go back to Shem. Sham leaves it off for Boko. Spartan defense repositioning. Boko gets by Molina. He'll shoot, and that's a nice save by Peavy. So it's the Spartans' turn, their first opportunity of the second quarter, and that's going to be a turnover out of bounds. Firebird ball. That is a pass to Vo. He's got two defenders there, but no one with him offensively. So he's going to pull it back behind the net and take his time while someone comes. Good job by Stackler to push him out. So here's Arabi to Shem to Jackson Jr. Jackson well, thought about the shot. Instead, he passes it, almost turns it over, does not turn it over. Saunders managed to regroup and pick that up. And Saunders pulls it all the way back near midfield, and he'll reposition, and he'll attack. He's going to pass that behind to Orebi. Orebi being fronted by Molina, spins one way, comes back. Good job by Molina to hold him. Pushes him out. Very good defense by Molina here. And now, Firebirds will pull it back. Here is Torres. Thought about the shot and said it's a better pass. Shot's not there, though, by Saunders. Vo, that shot is going to be off the cross of Peavy. Firebirds trying to take the lead for the first time today. They've had a response for all three Spartan goals, but have yet to be in charge. Here's Arabi. A lot of passes here. And that's going to be a shot attempt, but it's going to be deflected and into the cross up Peavy. Spartan ball. That was Johnson who, who made the deflection. So here's Molina trying to get out, using his speed, drops it for a second, trying to keep it from going out. He does. Molina. Back to Struss. Molina will take a seat. Edward Kelly comes in in his place. Kelly is one of the few people on the field who played the last time these two teams squared off back in 2019. It's been a long time since these two teams have played each other. A goal by number 77, Johnson. Peter Johnson with his fifth of the season, and he gives the Spartans the lead back. So the story of this game has been a Spartan goal followed by a Firebird goal. And now let's see if the Firebirds can keep that streak Spartan going. Goal scored by number 77, Peter Johnson. Longobardo and Lofton at the draw. 11.37 to play. It's going to be who's going to come away with it? Ball's on the ground. Ref says there's a push on the part of the Spartans. So Firebird ball, they bring in their offensive unit back. So here's Shem to Torres.
Firebirds pulling it out again. This is how they scored last time. They took their time, they pulled it out, they waited for their opportunity, and then they made it count. Boko, another response, this time by number nine, Daniel Oravi. Oravi was playing very well up until that point. Now he gets his first goal of the, year of the day, his fourth of the season. And yet again, we are tied. Our fourth tie of the day. 10.58 on the shock on the game clock. And we're gonna have another draw. Longobardo and Clifton Jr. It's gonna be Longobardo. So the Spartans bring their offensive unit back in. Here's Johnson, he scored the last goal. Spartans looking to finish the season two and four in the conference and keep DC winless in the conference. Meanwhile, DC looking for their first win. This is DC's second to last game of the season. This is the end for the Spartans. That is gonna be saved. Good job there by Najee Wilson, underhanded save. And he outlets that all the way out to number 23, and that's going to be a save by Peavy. So two good saves by both goalkeepers, and now it's the Spartans back on the attack. Johnson takes his time. Out. Sends it behind to Beddoes. Beddoes. And John Beddoes had that on the opposite end of the field, brought it all the way around to the other one, and leaves it for Johnson. Johnson to Stolarski. Stolarski to Struss. Struss trying to make a move. Will he take a shot? No. Good defense. He's going to shoot it and score it. Braden Struss with a hat trick. And Braden Struss reclaims the lead for St. Thomas Aquinas. Spartan goal scored by number 66, Braden Struss. So uh, the routine of this game has been Spartan score, Firebirds score, Spartan score, Firebirds score. Let's see if that continues here with the Firebirds. Five to four, the score, 9.13 on the clock. Spartan ball. That was, a, that was on Clifton Jr. Oh, nice defense there. The deflection by Ross. And that gives the Firebirds an opportunity here. He's out there himself now. I believe that was going to be, oh, it's going to be a timeout. Firebirds ball, 5-4, to four, the score, 849 left in the half. We'll be right back on the ECC Sports Network. Welcome back to the ECC Sports Network. Following the timeout by the Firebirds. They have the ball. 73 on the shot clock. 849 on the game clock. 5 to 4 the score. Spartans took a 1-0 lead. And since then it's been tick for tack. Each team with a score. And that's brought us to 5 to 4. Super high energy game so far. So 
We're just waiting on the ref's whistle, and there it is, 73 on the shot clock. So let's see what the Firebirds can do here coming out of a timeout. Boko has it. He's got a goal today. Finds Shem. Shem reverses. Good defense. Pushes him back. Here's Jackson Jr. That is high on the shot. Shem. Back to Jackson Jr. He's a big man. He can take a shot on the size advantage, and that'll bounce down and into the cross of Jake Peavy. Craig Peavy, correction. I'm thinking of the famous pitcher. Spartans looking to take a two-goal lead for the first time today now. Spartan offense in the game now. Struss has it right behind the net, looking for someone across in front, I believe. Defense is setting him up. He'll take it himself, underhanded, and score. Braden Struss with a beauty, and that is his fourth of the day, his 20th on the season. And for the first time today, we have a two-goal lead. Spartan goal scored by number 66, Braden Struss. Braden Struss having himself an afternoon. Four goals less than a quarter, well, exactly a quarter and a half into this one. And now he's got 20 on the season for the team lead. It's going to be Lofton who comes away with it. Here's Coteau. Now it's Saunders. Waiting for his team to shift in. There they go. Cote. That is going to be a save by Peavy. And now it'll be the Spartans' turn. 6.40 on the clock. Molina brings it out. Past the midfield. And there is the clear. And that'll bring in Farley and Johnson. Spartans waiting. Here's Molina. As Saunders right in front of him. Let's see what Molina has in mind here. Saunders getting a little bit more aggressive with him. So Molina will sprint, gets by him, and the shot is high. DC ball with 5.58 to play in the half. Oh, that was a bad pass dropped by Torres. Farley trying to get it. Instead, it's going to be there's still a battle for it. No one has come away with it yet. It's going to be Torres who comes away with it. Torres finds Shem. And we're going to have a whistle. Shot clock. So 53 on the shot clock. Firebirds have it. Shem to Kato. And there's the whistle. Saunders. Pass was too high for Kate, and that's a turnover. It's going the other way. Spartan ball. Cote couldn't handle that one. Hey, hey, Jack. Put it, Jack. That's a great job. 
Spartans turn. Past midfield is Margetson. Gregory making life difficult, but Margetson gets right by him. Whistle. And we're going to have a Spartans timeout with 4.49 to play in the half. 6-4 to four the score, St. Thomas Aquinas leads. We'll be right back on the ECC Sports Network. Welcome back to the ECC Sports Network. We've got a good one here. Six to four, the score from Spartan Field. St. Thomas leading DC here in their regular season finale. DC still has one more game against DeUville. If DC loses today, their game against DeUville will be a battle of, un of winless teams in the conference. Spartans looking to keep them winless here today. So there's the whistle. 4.49 to play here in the, sec in the first half. This is Peter Johnson. Gets around Washington. Pass to, Beto to Struss. Couldn't quite be handled. So Struss will send it to Beto's. Margetson looking for someone to pass to. Instead, he'll make a move himself. He'll pull back, and he'll give it to Farley. Farley to the other end to Struss. Struss might shoot this one. Good defense, keeping him honest. Very good defense there by number 23. And that's going to be a turnover scooped up by number 22, Fatrell, who is streaking down the field all by his lonesome. And he's in the offensive area. We're going to get a timeout. And the head coach for D.C. is not happy about the lack of a call there. He feels his player was hit. Timeout, UDC. So with that timeout, we'll take another timeout ourselves. 3.56 to go, 6-4 to four the score. Welcome back to the ECC Sports Network. Head coach Roger Colbert was irate at the lack of a call on Fatrell. He feels like Fatrell was hit squarely in the head and he was letting the refs know about it. They do have the ball though with 71 on the shot clock, 356 on the game clock, six to four the score. There's the whistle, so we're off. Shem to Orebi. Torres. 15 goals on the season. The leader on the team, but he's been quiet today. Kato finds Vo. And now it's 
DC playing it in a circle. They've gone all the way around and back to, Son to Torres. And he is going to play it behind the net yet again. Is he going to go for a shot? No. He's pushed back out. Good defense. Good. That was Frank Schaefer with the D. This is Shem. And that is going to be a turnover. Spartan ball. Good defense on that possession by the Spartans. So it's going to be Molina who brings it out. Will he run it down himself or make a pass? He's fast. We know that. Gets right by Coteau like it was nothing. One more to beat. Two more. Oh, wow. He is dancing in and out of that defense. And now he's into the offensive territory. He gets the clear. Brings it back around. Struss asking for it. Instead, he goes to Johnson. Struss still asking for it. Johnson takes it. Pulls back around. Firebird's trying to reset the defense. 2.45 to play in half. Struss. Shoots. Saved by Wilson. Shem couldn't quite get to it. So that'll be a turnover. The pass was errant. Shem tried for it, but couldn't quite get there. Spartan ball. Here's Beddoes. Spartans trying to extend their lead. The pass dropped, stolen. That was taken by number 23, Ross. That is going to be a hard pass. Good job by Wilson there to find number 15, Carson Gregory, right at midfield. Here's Coteau. Stakler was the defender on him. Pulls it back out to, to Torres. Now it's Jackson Jr. He'll shoot off the post. Junior has the size advantage when he's up in that territory. Who's going to come away with this? Still battling for it. It's going to be... Ball is out of bounds. And we're going to get two referees throw their flags up in the air. We'll see what the call is. It's going to be on Schaefer, a cross-check, one-minute penalty. So for the first time today, the Firebirds will be a man up. 60 seconds on the shot clock, 126 to play in the half, 6-4 to four the score. We've got a good one here from Spartan Field. D.C. looking to cut the deficit in half. They're hurling it around. Shot and a score right away. They make the man up opportunity count. Sander Torres with it, with, makes it five on the day for the Firebirds. So the penalty hurts the Spartans there. And there's still a minute 14 to go. About, goal, scored by number zero, Xander Torres. about 40 seconds ish to go on the penalty. So six to five to score. Let's see if the Firebirds can get one more and tie it up before the half or if the Spartans have a response. Who's going to come away with this? The ground ball was taken by Maroney, and he has it. So it's the Last Spartans' turn. In the second quarter. Last minute of this half. It's been a good one, and we're going to get a whistle. I think that's going to be on DC. Oh, no, it's a timeout. Spartans take the timeout. 56 seconds to play, about 30 seconds remaining in the penalty. They'll, uh, for the Firebirds, they'll still be a man up. We'll be back timeout. on the ECC okay, Sports Network. Ahead.
Welcome back to the ECC Sports Network. Fifty six seconds left in the half, about thirty seconds remaining for the Firebirds to be a man up. Coach Colbert leaning into one of his players, number eight, Kendall Jones. So let's see what happens on the field. So Jones will take a seat. Spartans have it. And we have got trouble on the sideline. We will stick with the action on the field, though. Spartans. Wow, I have never seen this before. <laughs> Molina has it. Players had to restrain head coach Colbert. 20 seconds left in the half. Six to five to score. Molina has it. Shoots. Ooh, wide, just barely. And now the Firebirds have it. 13 seconds left. Let's see if they can make something happen. They do not have a ton of time. There's the pass, but the Spartan defense gets to it. That's Stackler. And that's going to be a, I believe that's going to be a turnover on the, sh on the pass, but, or maybe it was a shot by Stackler. In any case, that will probably end the half. And that'll end the half. We're in store for an exciting second half of action. Six to five the score here on, from Spartan Field. St. Thomas Aquinas leads this one. We'll be back with the second half of action here on the ECC Sports Network.
And welcome back to the ECC Sports Network. Second half of action here from Spartan Field. St. Thomas Aquinas leading the D.C. Firebirds 6-5. to five. A good, good first half of action. Everyone leaving it all on the field. This is the finale of the season for the Spartans. D.C. still has one more game against Deuville. They are winless in the conference. Spartans looking to keep, it, looking to keep them that way. And there's the horn, and we're about to start third quarter. going to be Molina who takes the draw for the Spartans and excuse me that was not Molina that was Longobardo and it's going to be DC ball here's Torres to Shem Shem and Torres have been the motors of the team so far today they've made most of the stuff happen even though they haven't scored Torres. Torres, Molina on him. Torres trying to get around him. Instead, he fakes the pass, and this time he does pass it behind the net to Flo. And that is intercepted by Molina, who takes it out himself. And Molina streaks down the upfield sideline, stops, pulls back, and finds a man. Number 17, Stolarski. Now it's Johnson. Johnson, one of the goal scorers today. The offensive unit coming in now for the Spartans. We're one minute in. This is Beddoes. Spartans looking to extend the lead. The Was that a... I'm not sure if that was a goal, but Spartans want it to be, but I don't think they're going to get the benefit of the doubt on this one. No. Reps telling you to bring it back. Goalkeeper Najee Wilson, he's had a good afternoon. He's made some excellent saves, and there was another one there. So now it's the Firebirds' turn. Trying to tie this one up. Arebi. To Vo. Vo all the way back. Out to Shem. Shem has been the ball handler du jour for the DC. Cote, he's got two today. Looking for his third. And that is high on the attempt. Defense made him... Take a difficult one, and that's going to be a crease violation. Spartans ball. Here's Beddoes. Drops it. And nice job by Cato to pick it up. Excuse me. And that is going to be a score by Bartholomew. He picked up the ground ball, ran all the way down, went behind the net, and took the shot all by himself. Talk about a one-man goal. And that extends the lead. Eight, seven to five now. Spartan goal scored by number three, Daniel Bartholomew. And for the freshman, that is his first career goal. And it was a beauty. Twelve thirty-five to play. Seven to five to score. Back to two. This is taken by Clifton Jr. This is an opportunity. Oh, he couldn't handle all the pass. Dropped it, and that's going to be. That's going to be on White. It'll remain with the Firebirds. So the Firebirds will take it. It was on Longobardo. So 
But the Firebirds are giving a reprieve here. Here's Jackson Jr. He has the size advantage. He just mans the man down, and he takes the shot but cannot connect. He just bullied Molina to the ground. Jackson Jr. is a big, big player. And now it's Vo. Here's Boko. He's got a goal today. Shem being chased out. Shot is wide by Coteau. Coteau just didn't have the aim on that one. It'll stay here. 11.43 on the clock. Yeah, Jeffrey Vo. He's got speed to his advantage. And they pull it all the way back out to Shem. 11 and a half to play in the quarter. Shem passes it to Boko. Boko. Back to vote. Ten on the shot clock. They're going to have to get a shot off soon. Good defense making life a little bit more miserable for him. Boko will shoot. And they score with barely anything left on the shot clock. That is, that is a devastating way to score. I believe there was two or three on the shot clock left when that ball went into the net. And D.C. cut the deficit in half. UDC goal, score by number 32, Eric Boko. So Boko and gets a second. To number one, Jacob Saunders. Saunders with the sixth assist of the season. Seven to six to score now. It's been a game of back and forth, back and forth. What has never happened is D.C. has never held a lead in this one. First things first, they're going to have to tie it again. Spartans are going to look to stop that from happening. And it's going to be Spartan ball. Stolarski has it. Now it's Molina. To Johnson. Johnson trying to make a move. Pulls back. Passes it to Farley. Goal by Farley. And the Spartans have an immediate response. And they take the lead back up to two goals just like that. These two teams last played March 23rd of 2019. Very few of the Spartan players on the field. Number 28, Jonathan Farley. Very few of these players were on the, the teams to back then. Peter Johnson. Boko and Kelly are two of them. And this is going to be taken by the Firebirds. That pass was too high. Luckily for them, Vo was there to pick it up. So here's Jeffrey Vo. Firebirds trying to cut the deficit in half again. They have been climbing uphill all day long. They have never been able to take a lead. Spartans have always had a response. Ten and a half to play in the third. Here's Boko. Boko, nice move, gets around the defender, shoots, and saved by Peavy. Nice save. Who's going to come away with it, though? Uh, it's going to be Vo. He's going to get a, a wide open man on the corner and shoots. Can't quite get it. And now the Spartans have it, trying to make a clear work. This is Maroney, and there's the clear. And now it's Beddoes. Eight to six, less than 10 to play here in the third. That last shot, oh, there's a flag. Another one. This is Margotson trying to get room. He gets out of the jam. Pass. 
This is Ben O's. He'll shoot wide. So let's see what the call here is. It looks like a couple of they were the flags were flying all over the place. We'll see what the refs have to say. 9.13 on the clock, 8-6 to six the score. Here comes the ref. I'll let you know what he says. Three fouls. So we've got a slash on Kendall Jones and a technical foul on Xander Torres. So this is a big time opportunity for the Spartans. Two men out for the Firebirds. All right, waiting for the ref's whistle, and we'll kick it off. Spartans have not had a three-goal lead in this one. If they score here with that big-time advantage, they will have it. And we're off. So here it is, a huge opportunity for the Spartans to extend the lead. Two men down. Molina. To Stolarski. This is Beddoes. He scored the last one. That's going to be a goal. They, they make the opportunity count. So with that score, Struss now, five on the day. Struss having himself quite the afternoon. He's got more than half of St. Thomas's goals. And the lead is now 9-6. to six. This is the biggest lead of the day for St. Thomas. Firebirds, they need a response here. They do not want to let this game get out of hand. Spartan goal was scored by number 66, Braden Struss. So no, everyone's on the field now. Firebirds need a score here. Cote, he's got a score. That is his third of the day. So now it's back to two goals, the difference. Firebirds, they need to keep climbing here if they want to make this game count. They are winless in the conference on the season, looking for their first one. Spartans do not want to be the team that allows that to happen. UDC goal, score by number 14, Joseph Cote. So Cote, three goals today. Only Struss has more than him. We have five. Junior wins it. Clifton Junior comes away with it. Oh, drops the player, but drops the ball too. Instead, Cote comes away with it. Nope, he does not. It's on the ground still. Still a scrum for it. Who's going to come away with it? It's going to be Molina. And he is fast. Look at him run up the upfield sideline, right past midfield. Molina looking for the pass, finds him. And it comes right back to Molina. 7.50 on the clock. Peter Johnson has it left off for him by Molina. He picks it up. He comes around. Nine to seven to score. Super high energy game. Here's Struss. He's got five today. Molina has it. 
Dropped it. Good defense there by Shem. More good defense by Shem, making life difficult for Molina. Molina trying to come away with it. And the Firebirds caused a turnover. It's scooped up by number 15, Carson Gregory. This is a dangerous pass, but they make it count. Here's number 12. Oh, he's down. Hopefully he's all right. He's limping a little bit. So 21 for the Spartans. Johnny Argetta will take a seat. For one minute, the Firebirds will be a man up. They're down two. Two minute penalty here. No, one minute penalty, excuse me, I was correct the first time. And they get it, it's Torres with his first goal of the day. And that was a big one, down three, they managed to cut the deficit to one. So let's see if the Spartans can do what they've done all afternoon, which is halt Firebird momentum. As soon as they get a little bit of something going, the Spartans extend their lead. Torres, his 16th goal of the season. That is the most UDC on the team. UDC number zero, Xander Torres. The assist to number 14, Joseph Cote. So Cote, three goals and one assist. So here's Longobardo and Clifton Jr. again. They have met at the draw many times today. Clifton Jr. has had the advantage the last couple of times. Longobardo might come away with this one. No, Clifton Jr. still has it. It's up in the air. It's going to fall. Ooh, that is going to be a penalty on Longobardo. Flags fly. So it'll be two minutes on Longobardo on the cross check. Firebirds up from now until 437 on the clock. Spartans still lead nine to eight, but the Firebirds have scored two in a row to cut the deficit. So let's see if the Firebirds can tie it up or if the Spartans can hold them here and make something happen on their offensive end. There's the whistle. This has been a really exciting game all around. Cote, he's got three. Passing. They're hurling it around. That is going to be saved. It's going to be Saunders who comes away with it. PV resets. Boko has it. Outside to Cote. Cote pulls back. Jackson Jr. Vo pulls back. Looking for space or for a cutter. Oh, that pass would have been good if he had Jackson Jr. there. Boko will shoot and score! So just like that, Eric Boko ties this game up. It was 9-6. to six. It was a 9-6 to six game. And the Firebirds, little by little, have gotten back into this one. And it is a brand new ball game. UDC goal scorer number 32, Eric Boko. So it's going to be Stolarski who takes the draw this time against Clifton Jr. Jr. comes away with it, and he's going to streak down midfield. He's going to shoot. And just like that, the Firebirds have taken the lead for the first time today. 10 to 9. The Spartans are going to need a response now. 5.53 left in the third. Man, we have an exciting fourth quarter ahead of us. So this is the first time today that the Spartans have been in trouble. And one facet of this game that has UDC been crucial has been the draws. Jr. The draw controls have been a vital component. And Carnell Lofton Jr. has been very good. And there he is again, wins another one. And now that they have the lead, they want more. 
You can hear their sideline. They're cheering. They're loud. This is as loud as they've been all afternoon. One minute left on the penalty. Five and a half left in the quarter. Cote, wide. Cote again. Back to Oribe. And that is PV coming up clutch. And he outlets that all the way down. Oh, but there's going to be a defender there. No, it falls right into the cross of number 43. Good defense by 15 to block it and send it out of bounds. That was on Schaefer. Or excuse me, I guess it was on number 15, Gregory, in that case. Here are the Spartans. They're a man down for about five more seconds and then they'll be even again. So here comes Farley into the game. That brings the, both teams to 10. Beto's with it to Johnson. Spartans looking for an equalizer here. Here's Margitson. Good pass. Oh, couldn't quite handle it was Aguilar. And now the Spartans have it. Firebirds now. They're on the attack. Jeffrey Vo has it. 3.52 to play in the third. That pass is too strong. And now it's going to be... Spartan ball the other way. 3.45 to play in the third. Here we go. Clear attempt. This is Maroney. Oh, that was a hard hit, and he keeps going. Tough play by Maroney, and he has it, and he leaves it for Molina. That was a great hit by Maroney, and he stayed up, too. That hit hurts both players. You know even the one delivering it has to feel that one. So here's Johnson now. Being fronted well here so far. Instead, he'll pass too strong on the pass, and that's going to go out of bounds on the pass by Johnson. Turnover. Firebird ball with 3.08 to play in the third. Firebirds leading 10-9. to It's been an exciting game. We're in store for a great fourth period. That's going to be Spartan ball on number 14, Cote. Here we go. Spartans looking to tie it with less than three to play in the third. Beto's to Molina. Molina takes his time, surveys the field. Johnson, I think he's going to pass it to Johnson behind him. No, he's going to take it. Just wants Johnson in place behind him. And he'll take it all the way behind to Bruss, all the way back to Margitson. And now Johnson has it. Johnson to Farley. Shot. Saved. Post, excuse me. And now we have a Firebird player down. We'll have a stoppage here. Hopefully he's all right. I don't So here come the trainers to check on the injured Firebird. We'll take a timeout ourselves. We'll be right back with the f closing minutes of the third in just a second here on the ECC Sports Network.
All right, we're back here on the ECC Sport Tank. That was Gerald Fatrell, who was seemingly hurt, but he limped off. Hopefully, he looks all right. 10-9, to nine, DC leads, looking for their first conference win of the season. Spartans looking for the, the victory in their season finale here. But they're going to have to score to tie it up. Here's Johnson. Tabetos. The offense moving around. Tabetos looking for someone to pass to. He'll head behind the net, survey the crease area, pull back. He'll shoot. And that's off the post yet again. Picked up by Bruss. Oh, that was no. Oh, the ref is, the Spartans are not happy with the call on that one. So Bruss took that shot and no go. So we'll see if the Firebirds can extend the lead. 145 left in the third period. Good run here by Orebi. That is scooped up by Vo. 126 to play in the quarter. Julian Shem. Shem has definitely been the motor of the team in terms of ball possession and making things happen for his players. He drops Molina, he'll take the shot and it'll go into the ground and behind the net. 110 to play. Boko. To Jackson Jr. To Arebi. Firebirds. This is Last the minute of play in the third quarter. This is the first lead the Firebirds have had today. Let's see if they can extend it to two. It's gonna be a shot. And a score by Arebi. 11 to 9, the score now with 53 seconds to play in the third. Here's Carnell Clifton Jr. at the draw again. He's been dominant. And he'll take it against Stolarski. 53 seconds to play. Another draw control. No, perhaps not. Yep. Oh, there's going to be a flag for. I believe that's going to be on. I believe that. They're going to call a foul on Stackler before the timeout. No flag. All right, so they say the timeout came before the shove, so no flag. Stackler is off the hook. So we'll keep timeout, it. Timeout, UDC. So with the UDC timeout, we'll take a timeout as well. 47 seconds to play. 11 to 9, Firebirds leading the Spartans here from Sparky Field. And welcome back to the ACC Sports Network. Following the Firebird timeout, we'll play the final 47 seconds of this quarter. And then we'll head into a fourth, which looks like it will be a good one. So here we go. Firebirds have it. have 71 on the shot clock so they could take this all the way down and then take a scoring opportunity if they want here's Tor uh, Jacob Saunders Maroney on him spins back the other way shoots and that is going to be saved by Peavy big time saved by Peavy they needed that so here's Molina 16 seconds on the in the quarter Molina is racing down the field 
trying to get his team an opportunity. 10 seconds to play in the quarter. Molina, two defenders on him, spins back, passes, and that goes, there's a deflection on the pass, it's on the ground, and that will in all likelihood end the third period. We are in store for a great fourth. The score, DC 11, looking for their first conference win of the season. St. Thomas, nine. We'll be right back in just a moment. And welcome back to the ECC Sports Network. 11 to nine, DC leads this one. The final 15 minutes of the Spartan men's lacrosse season is upon us. Let's see if they can turn in a comeback victory. Down two, not insurmountable by any stretch of the imagination, but DC certainly has the momentum heading into this period. And one major component of DC's momentum has been their wins at the draw. Carnell Clifton Jr. has been fantastic in that position. That has led to many of his team's goals. And this time he's gonna take on, I believe, James Stackler. Yes. So the two teams switch sides and we are ready. The last 15 minutes of the season for the men's lacrosse team for St. Thomas. DC still has one more game against Deuville. But they're thinking about winning this one. It'll be their first conference victory of the season. The Spartans do not want to let that happen to them. Here we go. Clifton wins it. He drops it. Picked it back up. Managed to rebound. So here comes DC. Here's Saunders. And he'll pull it back out and leave it for Jeffrey Vo. Vo will head behind the net. Chased by Argetta. Back to Saunders. We got Shem now. Shem has been a difference maker in the midfield for sure. This is Jackson Jr. Back to Saunders. A lot of patience from DC here to start the fourth. Not trying to force anything yet. Cote has it. He's got a hat trick so far today. And an assist. Finds Shem. Defense pulls him out. Now it's going to be number four, Jeffrey Vo. Boko, he's dangerous. Great defense there by the Spartans to cause the turnover. And now they have it. Oh, he dropped it, unfortunately. And now it's another turnover. Vo picks it up. Schaefer dropped it, Vo scooped it right up. Deep in their own territory. 13 and a half to play in the quarter. Saunders. Johnson forcing him to zig and zag and he leaves it out for Vo. Here's Jackson Jr. He's got the size advantage. Molina handling him. Shot. Saved by Peavy. Shot by Vo. He was a jumping shot. They still have an opportunity. That might be a call. Nope. They say play on. So Peavy gets the save on the shot attempt by Shem. And Molina has it now. He's going to be hit. Flag. Another flag. What a major penalty there. And we're going to have 
Molina's going to have to be calmed down because he was viciously knocked down by number 14, Cote. And cooler heads are going to have to prevail here with 12.45 to play in the quarter. There were two flags on hits on Molina and then Cote knocked him down. Refs say, come over here, they're gonna have a little meeting and hand out these penalties. This could be a costly penalty depending on what the refs decide here. A major, major decision here by the refs. We know there's gonna be penalties on DC. Good job by the Spartan players to get right to Molina. He jumped up, he looked like he was ready to go, but they calmed him down and took him aside. But we're gonna have quite the last 12.46 of this one. Both teams have played extremely hard all afternoon. But you hate to see dirty play like that. Players get hit. All right, here comes the ref. I'll let you know what the call is in just one second. So Cote will serve a three minute penalty for the cross check and Molina will serve for unsportsmanlike conduct. So the Spartans will be up, based on the two penalties, they'll be up for two minutes out of the three minute penalty on DC. 14 will, have, will sit for three minutes on the black side, 20 on the white side will take a seat for one minute. I have to say, the call on Molina seems harsh to me. He did not, he got up and he seemed like he was ready to fight or something, but he didn't actually do anything. And his teammates got to him quick to calm him down, so. DC's coach Colbert checks on Molina and we'll, we'll reset here with 12.46 to play. There you hear that, you can hear them yourself. It'll be three minutes for DC, one minute for St. Thomas. And we'll see what happens. We'll see who uses this as a momentum shifter. The hit by Cote was, could be costly. He, his team will be a man down for three minutes. Or two minutes, technically, excuse me. The ref's still meeting. So the, for the next, from now until 11.46, teams will be even. And then from 11.46 to 9.46, St. Thomas will have the advantage, man up. All right, so we're just about set to restart this fourth period. St. Thomas find themselves trailing by two in their season finale. And we're off. Here's Saunders. Bartolome. Garden hit. This is Boko. Back to Saunders. He started this possession. Gets by Bartholomew and sends it behind to Cato. No one crosses, sends it all the way back to Boko. Here's Shem. 
Back to Boko. No one there, so Boko handles it. And he'll pull it towards the sideline. Molina will return in approximately five seconds, and the Spartans will be a man up for the next two minutes. Boko to Cato. Cato outside to Jackson Jr. Jackson Jr. can't get by Schaefer. And now it's in Peavy's cross. And let's see if the Spartans can score here and cut the deficit. They got to make the clear first. They are going to be a man up for about another mi two minutes, a minute and a half. Here's Johnson. Pulls it back. They're man up. Leaves it off for Stolarski. Stolarski. Bruss. He's got five scores today. Looking for a six-pack, perhaps. Ooh, that is dropped by Beddoes. Picks it back up. The Spartans have got to make this power play count. Here's Beddoes. Finds Bruss. Saved by Najee Wilson. That was a great opportunity. Another minute on the power play. Firebirds have it, though. And we're going to get a whistle here. It's going to be Spartan ball offsides on DC. Well, there's, Spartans are still a man up for just about a minute and 15 seconds. Excuse me, for 45 seconds. My math isn't quite what it used to be. Spartans. Stolarski finds Bruss. He'll take the shot wide. 30 seconds left on the power play. Johnson. Farley back to Johnson. Deflected by number eight, Kaladra. Scooped up by number 42 for the Spartans. Margitson. Here's Farley. Ten seconds left on the power play. Bruss, spin move. And that's going to be a violation on the Spartans. It's going to go the other way. And these two teams are even again. So the Spartans don't make the power play count. They still got a lot of time to tie this up or to take the lead. Penalty. No, excuse me, timeout. DC takes the timeout with 9.32 on the clock. The lead remains 11 to 9. We'll be right back on the ECC Sports Network. All right, here we go. 9.32 to play in the fourth. 9.32 to play in the Spartan season. It'll either be a disappointing end to the season for them, losing to a winless conference team, or it will be an epic comeback with 9.32 to play. Let's see which way this one goes. It has been a... DC has no more timeouts remaining in this one. Spartans still have two. And we're off. Here goes Saunders again. Boko to Jackson Jr. 
a lot of DC's goals have been power goals where they just bully their way into the scoring territory and knock it down. You don't see a lot of movement or shots off assists. Here's Shem. Boko. Already. Johnson, ooh, couldn't hang on. Spin move, shot, whistle. We're going to have a flag. I believe that's going to be on the Spartans. Yes, it's on number three for the Spartans, Bartholomew. And for one minute, DC will have the advantage now. Bartholomew with the slash. So 8.49 on the clock. DC a man up until 7.49. There's the whistle. They've got the ball. And they've got the momentum here. Spartans need to cut this momentum. And they, that's wide by Cote. Ball is still on this side of the field. Spartans won it on the other one. Shem. Vo back to Shem. Back to Vo to the other side. Boko, saved by PV. They needed that save. And PV outlets it right away to Stackler. Stackler can't quite hang on. He's still chasing it. He gets it. Here's an opportunity for the Spartans. And that's going to be timeout by the Spartans. They've got one remaining. 8-11 left in the period. And we're back here on the ECC Sports Network. 8-11 to play in the fourth. 9-11 to 9. DC leads this one. 22 more seconds for DC to play a man up. There's the whistle. So here are the Spartans trying to score while a man down. Johnson, two defenders on him, pulls it back out. Good job by Shucker there to get out of trouble. And the defense forces him to drop it. And we're now even. Shucker to Bruss, who just uh, to Struss, who just re-entered. Braden Struss, he's got five goals today. He had three in the first period. Seven thirty to play. This is going to be a shot attempt, and we're going to get a bunch of flags yet again. That'll be unnecessary on number 13 and black, Giovanni Barahona. So he'll come out, and the Spartans will have the opportunity now. A man up. An exciting, exciting game here. Here's Molina. Struss, good pass, shot attempt, save. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Get 
Spartans have it. Here's Farley. To, back to Struss. That is deflected. That's down, and that is taken away by the Firebirds, and now they're the ones on the attack. This is dangerous for the Spartans. Dropped. Good defense there by 21 on the Spartans. And that ends up in PV's cross. And that'll go right back to Argetta. Here's Molina. Gets a round one defender. Outside to Farley. Thought about shooting. And that was deflected by the goalkeeper out of bounds by Wilson. It'll stay with the Spartans. Six and a half to play in the fourth. Teams are back at even. Here's Struss. Oh, that pass was errant, and it goes wide, and we're going to get a whistle. It'll stay DC's. And here come the shifts. It's Cote who has it. Jackson Jr. Rolls it down for Vo. Six minutes exactly to play. Who wants this game more? Both teams have played very hard today. Get low, get low. Molina facing Arebi, forcing him back. Arebi recoils and watches and he'll pass it to Shem and now Shem will take his spot behind the net Arebi is still on the outside corner he's the passes to him he picks it up here's Vo 20 seconds on the shot clock Vo spin comes back to that same side leaves it off and that's going to be a shot saved Peavy with a nice one. And the D.C. Firebirds will actually keep the ball here. Jackson Jr. Jordan Shem. He'll come out. Boko will enter in his stead. Jackson Jr. to Cote. 4.45 to play. Spartans need to get the ball here. They're going to have to pressure them. They cannot allow the Firebirds to just take precious seconds off the clock like this. Here's Shem. He's looking for someone to cut. Jackson Jr. was dangerous there. Spin move by Vo. He'll have a shot. No, he'll pass it to behind the net to Shem, who's going to score. I think there was a crease violation. Yes, that is the call. Crease violation on Shem. So PV will take it. Four minutes left and 15 seconds. Here's Molina. Pass midfield. And the Spartans need one here. Margitson. He'll head behind the net. Leaves it for Johnson. Dangerous pass. Johnson comes out with it. Johnson, spin. Pass to Farley isn't quite there. No, almost a turnover. And it will be out of bounds off DC. Three and a half to play. Spartan needs two, Spartans need two goals in the next three and a half minutes. This is Struss. And there's one goal. So they've cut the deficit in half with 3.23 to play. That was Schaefer, I believe. No, Margitson. Struss to Margitson. And now we're in store for 3.23 of exciting lacrosse action ahead of us. Spartan goal scored by number 42, Jack Margitson. The assist to number 66, Braden Struss. 
So this is a very, very important face-off here. Who's going to come away with the draw? It's going to be Stackler and Clifton Jr. Clifton Jr. has been very good at these. And he comes away with this one. And he plays it all the way back to his goalie. So Wilson outlets that. So DC has it. Three minutes to play here. The Spartan needs, Spartans need one more to tie it up. DC has it though. This is Shem. DC will take their time. They are in no rush. This is Shem again. Behind the net. Being fronted by Maroney. One thing the Spartans cannot allow is a goal here. Shem trying to spin. This is going to be Coteau. Finds Cote. Great save by Peavy. So here come the Spartans. 2.15 to play in their season. Barring overtime. Turnover. Jackson Jr. comes away with it. Now Vo has it. Cote. Two minutes. Under two minutes to play. Spartans need a turnover here. Johnson on Cote, trying to make it more difficult for him, trying to cause a turnover. Cote will shoot and score a goal. And with 1.46 to go, that could be the game winner. Still a lot of time to go, though. You cannot celebrate just yet if you're D.C. UDC goal, score by number 14, Joseph Cote. We've seen much crazier comebacks happen. Two minutes and 146 is not at all out of the realm of possibility. But you got to get the ball. Here's Clifton and Stackler, I believe. I can't see his jersey number from here. No, it is not Jack Stackler. That is Longobardo. Spartans got a press here. That's what their coaches are yelling at him. 128 to play in the quarter. In the game and in the season for St. Thomas. Shem is just taking his time. He's going to have an opportunity here. Here's Cato wide open net. And that may in all likelihood seal the deal. 13 to 10. So DC, the Firebirds, one minute and 12 seconds DC away. DC goal, scored by number seven, Wesley Coteau. The assist to number 10, Julian Shem. Shem has been the offensive motor for his team, and he gets the assist on that goal. And that goal could very well be game, set, and match. DC have not won a game in their conference this season. This could be their first. Here's Clifton. Ball's on the ground. Whistle. It'll stay Firebird ball. Here's Shem. The other Shem, I should say. There's two of them, the brothers. Last minute of play in the fourth quarter. One minute left. Here's Boko. Saved by Peavy. Picked up by Kato, and Kato scores again. And now, well, barring the miraculous... D.C. will escape from Spartan Field with their first conference win of the season. And St. Thomas' season will end in disappointing fashion. 50 seconds left. Spartans have nothing to be ashamed of. They play their hearts out today. They had the lead early. The second half belonged to the Firebirds. 
And that's going to remain with the Firebirds. Longobardo on the violation, on the, f on the f draw. Here's Arebi. 45 seconds to play. DC just made the bigger plays here in this fourth quarter in the closing stretch. Arebi happy to just spin and spin and get this clock to zero. We're under 30 to play. And DC will be triumphant here. We might get another goal. Boko shoots and Boko scores. And now it's an onslaught here in this final two minutes. An absolute avalanche of goals in the closing minutes of this game by DC. 15 to 10. It was 11 to 10 seemingly just a moment ago. So Cote gets a violation for conduct. He also had a three-minute penalty earlier. Scored by number 32, Eric Boko. The assist to number four, Jeffrey Vo. So here we go. Spartans. Final 10 seconds of their season. Maybe they can score. And now oh, they'll drop it. DC will scoop it up. And that will end this game. Final score from Spartan Field. Firebirds 15, Spartans 10. My name is Amin Kasawi. Thank you so much for joining us here on the ECC Sports Network. And join us next time.